Okay, hello dear friends. A beautiful day outside. So I want to practice some calligraphy. So here we come to the table. And this video is pretty tedious. I will slowly uh, show you step by step. So now so today I want to take this beautiful morning time to do some calligraphy and I will fold my paper. Each one has his own ruler in his heart. So you may choose whichever way you want to choose. There is not a fixed rule. And this calligraphy paper is uh, is not the best, but uh, for practice is uh, is good enough. So I fold the paper, and I have some. Uh, Toilet tower to practice a little bit, and uh, this video is pretty tedious, so um, it's good for you to fall asleep. But uh, later on, I will not uh, talk anything. So here I have this pure wolf hair brush. You can take a look. Chun Lang Hao Zhong Kai, Chun Lang Hao Da Kai. So they are pure wolf hair brush, and they are they are not so absorbing. Uh, they do not load too much water, but uh, it's good for calligraphy exercise, especially for this low style calligraphy exercise, because you can get in the ink from time to time. When you do a quick speed calligraphy, you want your brush load enough ink without changing your hand movement. Cha cha cha, you write two or three. Chinese uh, Chinese words, characters at one time, but this one is different. So you can soak your brush, soak a brush, and this brush is um, you can you can start to press a little bit and feel if this uh, this brush can be opened up. I can feel that I can open up. There are some brushes that even if you press your band, it does not open up. That's a bad sign. That's a sign that it uses a very, very strong glue to glue it up so that it forms a shape. It's not good. Usually the manufacturers, the the artist, the brush artist, they use a very light starch glue. And uh, so uh, uh, so it can be easily opened up. And also um and also, if the brush itself is good, it does not need any strong glue to make it into a good shape. Maybe because uh, uh, the brush here is not good, so they use that uh, super glue, something to glue it. Anyway, too much about it. And uh, I'm going to open up a new brush. And use brush, you can completely dip into the water, but when you use it, do not use your brush to to too much with new brush because they are new, so the hair is very tender. Why I choose a new brush? I have a gazillion brushes. And I still choose a new brush today open for you specially and also because this brush, the tip will be used up pretty soon if you do exercise and if you do exercise with strength. Okay, so your brush does not have to be totally inked through. One thing is difficult to wash, another thing um, 
you do not want to use up use the full capacity of the brush so only use a little bit of it see the tip is so good even with this brush it's a pleasure to use a new brush so every time by two or three brushes and uh, last night i soaked ink stick in water and i was about to practice and then i fell asleep feel a little bit dizzy so the ink is a little bit damaged but it can be still used only only that uh, it has some this uh, uh, fall off and uh, if you have time have the patience press on this fallout it can be easier to grind and as i said yesterday last time use um use ink and water to save time so if you need use some of this liquid ink and try use this liquid ink and see if it is good enough so you can save time grinding Maybe it's time for me to change into a new ink stick. And make sure do not soak your ink into water for a long time. So this is the result. Oh, you do not see it. Let me show you. From the reflection, you can see. Oh, sorry. From the reflection, you can see there are too much uh, these pieces and that is not good oh it's full of okay and then you can try this piece of paper. oh it's pretty good okay I will use it just grind a little bit. Sorry for your time. Oh, this ink stick. Oh, sorry. Maybe, sorry, I feel bad for it. Maybe I will start a new ink stick. Okay, now we can start. My husband went to a San Francisco, um, San Francisco uh, stone, his stoneware ceramic company, and uh, got me some of this. And uh, you pay a very small price, you can get these samples. So it's cute and beautiful. It can be used as a brush set. So here is my paper. We, we will not use uh, natural light. Oh, we use light. Wait. Okay. Yesterday we did this. Did this. Si feng xi shu. Okay. Ping yin bing. So we will start from here. And Chinese calligraphy, we write from right to left. But I will not do this way because uh, uh, scientifically it is not so convenient. I will write from left to right so will not get my hand dirty. Make sense? So use only a part of the brush. Oh, okay, I will start to write. No talking.
Okay, as I was writing, I start to get a lot of inspiration, and writing Chinese calligraphy is kind of addicting. I got one friend who uh, got addicted. He's from another country, and he just kept writing, 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 and improved a lot. When you get your heart and soul into it, it's very addicting. So here are some uh, some little detail tips. So I poured some more inks, and when you pour the ink, uh, some of the ink will get very dirty. Clean it up each time. Just a few drops, like this. Oh, oh, are we in the right zoom? And clean it up. Put it aside. Those inks, sometimes more condensed, sometimes more liquid, or less condensed. Uh, when the manufacturers make the ink, they have their standard. But there is a difference of our paper. Some paper absorb ink better. Some paper absorb ink less. Uh, uh, not better, more, some less. So this ink may not be just perfect for your particular paper, for your particular day. That day may be hot and dry or wet and uh, humid, depends on the situation. So you always get an ink stick by, your, by hand, Take, uh, so you can grind it, or if you do not want to have an ink stick, pour into a ceramic dish or something, and uh, let it dry a couple of uh, uh, minutes. Just starting by doing practice, and then the ink will evaporate and naturally come to the best moment. And those moments last actually quite short, a few minutes, and then it becomes dry. So get a, a squatter, get my, my ink water drop or spray uh, from time to time to add a little bit or let it dry a little bit and then keep on practice. Another thing about practice, I watch at the the uh, the sample book, but this is not this is not your dictator. This, when you write, you have your own spirit. Look at one stroke, look carefully, and do the stroke, not at half the stroke and see how it goes. No, once you get into the spirit, carry on with your spirit so i think the ink is good after our two minutes blah 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 the carry on so i look and then i carry on my own way So, for example, this one, this pier is shorter in the, the calligraphy sample book, and it's nice longer. I was doing just the opposite, but that moment, the, 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 the spirit just come this way, and I just roll this way. Do I destroy it? No, carry on. And next time, this book you will write a hundred times until you get the right spirit, get the right balance. Do not worry too, 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 over too much. Do not over worry. Okay, so this is a pure wolf hairbrush. I use a large size. You see, we didn't put the ink to top, but the ink 
because of uh, it looks for equilibrium the ink will go up and um, and uh, um, I use a large brush for a new beginner maybe your hand will have less control your hand will be stronger or more um, yeah my hand is dirty will be stronger so use a, a, a medium size or smaller size and if you buy this brush let me know a pure wolf hair brush is perfect for this calligraphy exercise let me know your um, how large you want to write I can choose a better brush with the best uh, with the best result okay no talking
So last night I prepare myself. I prepare the ink stick. See, if you soak it into water for a long time, it this is what will happen. Let it dry and it will it will become good later on. Don't worry too much. It's just ink. Even if the most expensive ink, the ink uh, itself, the pigment itself still can be used. And writing Chinese calligraphy is kind of a dirty job. You don't know when, when and where your hand gets dirty. So <clears throat> protect yourself well and get ready to get your hands dirty. And this is really gets your hands dirty. And, um, and also when you welding your brush, make sure I will use it just to, uh, this paper. When you write one um, one stroke, following, do not change brush too often. See the brush. See the brush is is such an odd shape. Follow it. Follow it, and change the direction of the brush. Another odd shape, right? And so. This way, your brush has more consistency. Not each one is new. Um, each of the movement, there is a spirit. You have a holistic uh, spirit of your of your brush. Xin. Let me write another um, another word. Xin. Heart. Blood. See the stroke. The brush is. Follow it. Change direction of the brush. When you write, you change the direction of the brush. Okay, so I see some friends used to ask me uh, to write something, and I will write some. Um, uh, Chinese calligraphy in PDF you can download or write uh, uh, some short such as uh, diligent qin, such as uh, uh, kindness and uh, love, uh, ci, empathy, sympathy, this kind of word and not uh, reach um, not uh, money, not uh, prosperous, prosperous maybe, but not f those words. We will write something more scholarly, uh, not more more uh, literati, more um, more intellectual. I don't know, more um, encouraging and motivating. Okay, thank you very very much. And uh, check the description of this video, this brush, this paper, and this felt, and uh, these downloads are all on my Etsy shop. Thank you very, very, very much. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Bye, bye, friends. Okay, hello dear friends. So now I am pretty much with done with the exercise. What do I do with the leftover ink? Try to clean it up by using an old brush and do some uh, random exercise and finish the ink. I will get a piece of uh, local newspaper and uh, because this movement get you just uh, and uh, nothing serious just uh, your goal is to finish this ink and by playing around with something not important you use up the ink and clean up 
the 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 the, the brush. So our ink stone is just do some hand movement. This is an old brush, a new brush. Don't do that. Don't do the tip too much. But sometimes if you have an old brush, you want to exercise, you can do this. And then you get into, get the hun of it and just keep on doing, 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 and have fun with it. And you get more and more ink because you dip some water in some orchid leaf okay another piece these are the million dollar hearts so they they mean nothing to me so you can you, you do not need to care that much about it practice 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 makes perfect and this way you will clean up your ink stone our goal is to clean up the ink stone right right the stroke pie, 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 pie. Pie, 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 pie. Not really a goal. This is a, a chrysanthemum flower. Just to keep on practicing. And uh, once you are this ink stone, pine tree. Like the pen, get here, Miss. So you are using it up some rose flower. This is an old brush, new brush, don't do that. When you are done with all this, use two cups to clean up. One cup. Okay, this is a cleaner and Clean it up. For me, usually I clean up like this and that's it. Because the glue and uh, the bonding element from the brush is already cleaned up. So dry it. Because I use it all the time, I put into a foam tree tray. So here are my glasses. So I put all my brushes on a tray, or if you travel, get a, um, a piece of paper or a bamboo, even better, to roll it out. For example, suppose this is not dry, okay? Roll it out. This is the best way to go, out, go around and carry it. That is good. If it's a bamboo, it's even better. And this way, the next time you can still practice with this uh, water, just uh, play around or throw away. You only throw, throw away a little bit of water. It does not um, waste a lot of water. And uh, that's about it. Enjoy.
thank you very 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 much i love you i really do i think that's the end of it it's uh, too much blah 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 bye bye friends